Hi guys, um, I'm your white cell instructor, Nathan Worker. Um, just want to make sure you guys are all doing well. Johan, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. It's nice. What about you, Nicole? Excited to Very excited. to learn some sailing. Learn about sailing again. Yes. I know you, Janet. Looking forward to it. Great. Um, so, guys, this is we're doing white sail. We're still in white sail one. We're going to be learning. Um, about capsizing safely and um, how to right your sailboat when you go over. Um, so the number one thing, guys, is safety, safety, safety. So when you're out on your boat, you want to always be wearing your life jacket at all times, all weather, no matter how confident you are with your sailing, because there is always the possibility that your boat will capsize. First things first, when you capsize, you guys, you want to stay with your boat at all times. It's a very important thing. So I write that down. Stay with your boat. When you go, go over, so the first thing's first, you always stay with your boat, hand on the boat. And then second thing, you wanna make sure you're untangled from all the lines so that you can swim where you wanna go. The boat is not pulling you around. Um, second thing, Find your buddy. So you want to, if you're sailing with someone else, find your mate and keep communication with them so you know where you guys are at all times. And that way you can communicate, it makes it easier to communicate when you are working on riding the boat. Um, another thing is making sure um, that you prohibit the boat from tipping all the way over. So when you capsize, you're gonna, your boat's going to be originally like this. And it'll capsize and it'll go halfway over. And your boat will now be like that, sail in the water. And, and then if you capsize all the way, turtle all the way, your boat's gonna be upside down. Now that's a lot harder to fix than just semi-capsized. It makes it a lot easier. And you guys, especially like Unicole, since you're a bit smaller, it's a lot requires a lot more weight to, to move the boat. Um, from a turtle position to a capsize position. So the first thing you want to do is get to the dagger board while staying on the boat at all times. Um, so that is really the first part is just safety, safety guys. Um, know where your people are, know where your mates are, stay at the boat. The big part of staying at your boat is that when you're in the water, only your head's out of the water. So boat, boats may not see you when they're driving by and you guys really don't want to get hit by a moving boat because that is very dangerous and that is why you always stay with your boat. Also in heavy winds, if you get blown away from your boat, it's going to be a lot harder to swim to it than if you're already with it. Um, so thanks a lot for listening you guys, you guys were great. Um, now we're going to have a bit of a discussion um, on how to write, on how to write the boat. Um, um, so let's all sit in a circle um, and do this. Uh, um, hey, so we're going to have a discussion now, guys, about what to do when, when your boat goes over. Um, so the first thing you want to do um, after you've established that everyone is safe um, in the water and secure and all the ropes have been untangled is that um, all, your, all your sheets... Uh, your main sheet, um, your jib sheet are all uncleated um, from their cleats. Um, this is so when you are riding the boat, um, as you'll see with this sail, it is under the water. And if it is cleated, it will trap water in it, making the boat much heavier than it really is, um, adding extra work, sometimes even making it impossible to write. Um, um, once you're in a capsized position, you have your boat uncleated, and everything. Do you guys um, want to see if you have some other ideas of what you now do? Um, you have someone on the dagger board who has prevented it from turtling. All the sheets are uncleated. What is maybe the first thing you would want to do? Um, Johan, do you have any idea? Um, no. All right. Well, if you have someone on the dagger board, um, they can use their weight to push down. Um, so Nicole, once you're doing that, what things gonna happen to the boat if you push down on the dagger board? Um, I think it's going to become right side up. So 
like flip back over if you lean on the di- put weight on the diving board? Yeah, it's gonna go straight up. All right, yeah. So um, you want to get someone on the dagger board. If you are smaller, um, not big enough, you might need two people to flip the boat. But in most cases, you should be able to um, ride it with one person. Um, any other ideas what you should do before you write your boat, guys? Um, should you should you make sure that everybody's clear of the boat, or ha- um, it kind of come back up again? Yeah, it's good. Good question. Good point, Janet. Um, if you have one person um, riding the boat um, on the dagger board, you want to get the other person at the bow of the boat. Um, that way, they will not be obst- they will not obstruct any of the lines coming up and will not get hit by the tiller extension if they're at the back of the boat. That's a possibility. Um, or the rudder. Um, if they're at the front of the boat, once it comes over, they can eat, they can then grab the bow of the boat and hold on to it, um, keeping it secure in the water. Um, another thing guys that none of you guys um, thought about was the wind now if you're in heavy winds and you bring your sailboat up you're going to flip it up and then wind is going to strike the sail and because it already has momentum the wind could very possibly flip the boat right back over into 